Good morning to all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sangeeta. So today I will solve the Assistant Geology 2016 question paper. So which of the following drainage pattern indicates the lack of structural control in an area? So it is clearly a dendritic pattern. Okay. It will usually, it will look like this. Okay. It will, it will be like branches of a tree. Right? So dendritic pattern will uh, lack any structural control in the area okay next is the circular depression formed by the plucking and grinding action of the glacier on the upper part of mountain slopes is called as so it is circ okay uh, as you have seen in my previous video of assistant geologist uh, 2018 i have shown few landform which can be you know formed by the uh, glacier so if it is a glacier so here between some glaciers you will find a circular depression okay which will be formed by the plucking as well as the grinding action of the glacier so it will be co uh, called as soak okay and it get filled with water also which of the following process result in the development of oasis so what is oasis So it is a de depression created by the wind erosion down to water level. So oasis usually occur in the uh, desert environment. Okay. It caused by the wind er erosion. Which of the following statement with regard to Hawaiian type of volcano is correct. So uh, for this type of volcano, again in 2018 uh, solution video, I have shown one table of different type of volcanoes you can refer that table okay so it is a silent effusion of lava without any explosive activity okay so in hawaiian type of volcano what you will see that it will not that much explosive and effusion will be silent next is which of the following geological agent form rosh mountain okay so if you have seen a Bangar book or any kind of book, you will see structure like this. Okay. So it will be basically formed by the glacier. This is the diagram and it will look like this. This will be jointed bedrock. Okay. Uh, or more resistant rock which you will not get, you know, abraded. And the upper part, it will it is getting abraded as well as polishing. Okay. Wow. Okay. क्या हो रहा है एब्रेशन हो रहा है जैसे हम एक सैंड पेपर को घिसे उसकी तरह देन दिस इन दिस डायरेक्शन आइस मूवमेंट इज अकरिंग एंड इन दिस डायरेक्शन हियर यू सी प्लकिंग इज गोइंग ऑन ठीक है ये टुकड़े बाहर निकल रहे हैं ऐसे इसको प्लकिंग बोलते हैं तो दिस इज अ डायग्राम ऑफ रॉश माउंटेन इट विल बी फॉर्म बाय द वेंड Okay, now which one of the following is not a feature of volcanic topography? So we have seen which uh, that caverns these are form in groundwater, not in the volcanic activity. The caldera crater again we have seen this in 2018 uh, question paper, right? Cinder cone these are the features of or uh, topography of volcanic forms. Eskers are depositional landforms seen in association with. So eskers are seen with glacial deposit this is how they will look at this figure here you can see this ridge portion is called esker which means it is a long narrow ridge of sorted gravel and sand so they can pile up to 30 meters in height okay so it is a ridge like structure you can see in this diagram so these are the features of meltwater deposition okay so esker is feature of meltwater deposition of glacial landscape next is which one of the following is a characteristic of youth stage of a river? Okay. So in youth stage of a river, what you will get? You will get that in youth stage, there will be no floodplain development. And the extensive but poor drain. So let's see what are the various stages of a uh, river.
okay so here if you can see clearly see in this uh, picture that initially first stage is youthful stage in this stage steeps of river it will be very fast okay it will be very steep see the slope is very steep and fast fast flow or it means it will erode more hai na? and features are waterfalls there we will see waterfalls over here see a great height and then height decreases then definitely a waterfall will form v-shaped valley will occur see v-shaped valleys are there and interlocking spurs and in the case of mature stage you will see more gradual gradient hai na? gradient will be decreased so rivers slow down in this area as well as we uh, meanders are formed see these are meanders these are meanders uske baad old stage mein kya hoga yahan pe river aur slow ho jayegi hai na thoda old hoti ja rahi hai to kya hoga slow hota jayega so as river slows down it drop the material it carries which will be called as deposition so here features are deltas okay so i think now you got that there will be no flood plain as well as uh, extensive poorly drained interstream tracts in the u stage okay what are the type and the rate of uh, weathering are in influenced by so it will be influenced by all of three okay rock structure will also influence the uh, rate of weathering topography and climate will also influence and vegetation will also influence so one two three all are correct in most desert drain drainage is internal and does not reach the sea अब क्या बोल रहे कि ज्यादातर डेजर्ट में क्या होता है जो ड्रेनेज है वो इंटरनल है और वो सी को नहीं रीच कर पाता है नोटेबल एक्सेप्शनल रिवर विच फ्लोज थ्रू दी डेजर्ट टू द सी सो दिस इज फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन इट विल बी नाइल रिवर तो इन सब रिवर्स के बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए उसके बाद ही यू कैन अटेम्प दिस क्वेश्चन ओके द ईस्ट अफ्रीकन रिफ्ट वैलीज आर गुड एग्जाम्पल सो इफ यू हैव वॉस्ड माई अगेन टू वीडियो of assistant geology then you can clearly answer this question where i have explained you about east african rift valley so it is an example of continent continent divergent boundary going on so which of the following is the percentage of mantle within the earth mass okay so it is 67 uh, percent uh, the crust so it will consist less than 1% of, of mass percent of crust okay and mantle it consists of 66% what mass percent of crust core it consists of 33 mass percent of the crust and if you see the volume percent it will be less than 1% same for the crust and 83% for the mantle and 16% for the core if you see in the crust okay so you have to remember this table because they are asking these type of questions okay so it is 67 percent next question is which of the following statement with regard to the history of divergent plate boundary are correct so we know what are divergent plate boundary when both plates are moving away from each other it is also called as constructive plate okay why because when magma rises it will generate a in case of ocean if two oceanic crust are moving away from each other a new oceanic crust will form okay so heat from the rising magma beneath the continent cause it to bulge and rift valley develop and lava flows onto the valley floor or kya hota hai divergent mein kya hoga rift valleys ban jati hai aise aise dekhi honge aapne images again you can watch my 2018 video i have uh, described wilson cycle i think over here there or in the uh, CSIR net question videos I have described the Wilson cycle you can see those videos so rift valleys are formed in the area of divergent and oceanic ridge system forms and oceanic trench and volcanic island arc form sorry <coughs> oceanic trench kya hota hai suppose though plates move kar rahi hai dusre ki taraf to kya hoga so pehle to ek आइलैंड आग बनेगा और क्या होगा यहाँ पे जहाँ पे सबडक्शन हो रहा होता है यहाँ पे ही एक ये प्लेट नीचे गई यहाँ पे एक पोर्शन बनेगा उसको बोलते हैं हम ट्रेंच ठीक है जी तो इसमें सिर्फ फोर्थ गलत है और बाकी ठीक है सो 
ये वाला पहले ले लेते हैं सो ऑप्शन वन टू एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज दी ट्रांसफॉर्म प्लेट बाउंड्रीज फॉर्म सो इट इज ईजी तीन तरह की बाउंड्रीज होती है कन्वर्जेंट है ना कन्वर्जेंट डाइवर्जेंट एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके सो वेन टू प्लेट्स मूव पास्ट वन अदर है ना दो प्लेट क्या है ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन एक इधर जाएगा और एक इधर को जाएगा सो इट विल बी इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन इट विल बी ट्रांसफॉर्म प्लेट बाउंड्रीज नेक्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सुपर कॉन्टिनेंट एग्जिस्टेड ड्यूरिंग द लेट पेरियोजोइक एरा अगेन इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन वीडियो आई हैव टोल्ड एंड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरियस सुपर कॉन्टिनेंट्स यू कैन वॉच दैट वीडियो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इट इज पैंजिया विच एग्जिस्टेड ड्यूरिंग द पेरियोजोइक एरा सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज और आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ फास्ट स्प्रेडिंग रिज फॉर्म एट द डाइवर्जेंट बाउंड्रीज ओके सो in divergent boundaries there are two type of ridges one can be fast and other can be slow okay okay so what will happen in the case of slow spreading ridges there will be large rift valleys approximately 10 to 20 km wide rugged topo topography with relief up to 1000 meter and uh, it means rugged means irregular okay earthquake can be of 8 km depth and maximum earthquake magnitude will be 5.5 and what will happen in the case of fast spreading ridges there will be no major tectonic faults bounding by the axial valley axial summit with the trough 100 km wide and 10 to 20 m deep small relief will be there and smooth topography it will be like a dome like okay seismic activity constrained to depth shallow than amc maximum 2 km and maximum earthquake magnitude will be 2 so these are the major differences between both of them and if you look at this figure here you will see spreading rate and topography of oceanic ridges so this will be the example of slow spreading ridge which will be mid atlantic ridge and southwest indian ridges again smooth uh, rough topo topography narrow magnetic strips and in the case of intermediate so these are the 7 mm per year the rate with which they are uh, spreading intermediate it, it is for 7 to 70 mm mm per year it is caribbean intermediate topography intermediate magnetic strips and fast spreading ridge will be greater than 70 mm per year example is east pacific rise and it will be of flat topography or smooth topography with wide magnetic strips okay for fast spreading it should be greater than 70 and it is 55 to 20 so third will not be the answer for this one So it will be two and four only. Okay. Next is which of the following HM symbol denote the class of isometric system? So it is it is again factual question or can you know a table one you have to remember one table table for HM symbol or you can say Hermann Mangan symbol of thirty two crystallographic classes and they were asking about the isometric class right? So it will be four by m three bar two by m four bar three m four three two 2 by m 3 bar or 2 3 okay so similarly if they ask for hexagonal so these you have to remember okay there is no other way to do this question so you have to remember this table okay so next is which of the following crypt uh, crypto crystalline varieties of quartz so it will be flint chalcedonian agate it is also given in the uh, rutley book as well as the banger book you can follow any of them and what are the calcite group it is magnesite siderite rhodochrosite next is which of the following mineral is classified as double refracting spar so if you have seen this type of crystal and when you place one pencil on one side it will look two object instead of one so this will be the uh, double refracting spar so it is iceland spar okay next is uh, corona reaction texture is formed in phosphorized silica system so it will be formed at eutectic point peritectic liquidus or solidus so we know that if they are talking about the reaction so peritectic is a term which is related to reaction you know so we will ultimately mark this as answer because if they are talking about the reaction texture then peritectic will be the answer during incongruent melting behavior <coughs> Acetate melt and give rise to 
so it will give rise to posterite and melt uh, what is the degree of freedom at peritectic point so at peritectic point it will be zero during magma solidification process olivin react with remaining melt to produce so you can watch my csi net videos where i have you know explained about the bowen reaction series so this is again they are asking from the bowen reaction series that if there is a solid or a crystal it will when it react with the melt and if it is a olivine then next will be pyroxene next is uh, which of the following pairs of rock classification are correct so granite it is felsic oversaturated <clears throat> correct it is a felsic rock which will be rich in silica okay then so it is called as oversaturated rock next is an orthosite it is felsic saturated rock correct nepheline cyanide it is felsic under saturated rock correct gabbro it is felsic over saturated no it will not be rich in uh, silica so answer will be 1 2 and 3 Next is which of the following igneous rock has composition of granite and a predominance of large mineral crystals. <clears throat> so we know that granite it consists of quartz, right? quartz feldspar. So basalt, this will not be the answer. Also granite it is an plutonic rock. So if it is a plutonic rock, so it will be definitely coarse grain, right? <clears throat> means crystal will be uh, bigger so as compared to all of these uh, pegmatite pegmatite will be the right answer because it will contain composition of quartz feldspar as well as it will be coarse grain right <clears throat> which of the following are discordant igneous uh, bodies so it will be dike and uh, Still, it is not a uh, discordant. It, it will be parallel, right? Discordant means, koi, uh, suppose ye rock hai, aise, aur ye isko aise cut karte ho jayegi, hai na? Aur still kya hoga? Ye is rock ke parallel hi rahega. So, pathulit hoga, conolith hoga. So, answer will be 1. <coughs> answer is 1, 3, 4. According to Odin Wentworth uh, range, scale, range of silt grain size, it will be? 1 to 56 to 116 okay this will be range size of gravel and this is clay okay less than 1 by 256 mm arcosic arenite refers to arenite that contain ab kahin pe bhi agar arenite aa gaya so immediately aapko wahan pe dekhna hai ki usme more than 25 percent feldspar hona hi chahiye theek hai or kya hoga? Quartz ka mona chahiye. So, it will be 1 and 2. At 2 to 3 km depth of burial in mud rock, smectite will disappear. Okay. Voids are spherical, subspherical grains consist of concentric lamina. Hai na? Aisa hoga. Void hoga. Usme concentric aisa lamina hoga. <coughs> Ek nucleus hoga yaha pe. So, they form in they form in the uh, agitated and shallow water. Water form wave ripple mark have ripple index of less than 15. Greywack is a grey colored fine grained sandstone and it contain. So greywack hoga to isme kya hoga clay content zada hoga. So this is the first option. This is the second one and this is third. So, of course, it will contain greater than 15% matrix. Zada hoga hai na? Aur kya hoga? Sodic plagioclase hoga isme. So, an answer will be 1 and 2. Next is, Dolomite Sulfate Association can be explained under which of the model? So, it will be Sabkha model. 
which of the following species usually occur during the medium pressure temperature metamorphism तो मीडियम पीटी का मेटामोर्फिजम में कौन सा बनेगा फिशेस तो इट इज ग्रीन शेस्ट एंड एम्फीबोलाइट फिशेस व्हिच अकर इन द मीडियम पीटी मेटामोर्फिजम ड्यूरिंग ग्रेनुलाइट फिशेस मेटामोर्फिजम ओपीएक्स एंड प्लेजुक्लेस रिएक्ट टू गिव तो ग्रेनुलाइट फिशेस में क्या होगा जो ओपीएक्स होगा प्लस प्लेजुक्लेस <coughs> It will react to form CPX, garnet, and quartz. Okay. In granulite fishes, OPX will disappear and CPX will form. Uh, the history of PT condition followed by the drop during metamorphic event. You have seen diagram. This is a diagram. This is a diagram. This is a diagram. This prograde. This is a retrograde. This is a retrograde. तो ये इसको हम क्या बोलते हैं पीटी है ना प्रेशर टेंपरेचर टाइम पाज नेक्स्ट इज 42 इन एल्बाइट एपिडोट हॉर्नफेल फेशीज द ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ पायरोफिलाइट गिव राइज टू सो बाय ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ दिस गिव राइज टू एंडोलोसाइट क्वार्ट्ज एंड वाटर ओके दिस यू विल सी इन विंटर बुक कोइसाइट टिश्यू कोइसाइट टिश्यूवाइट Micro diamonds are formed during, so they are basically formed during the shock metamorphism. Okay. <clears throat> Which of the following CPX or clinopyrexin usually occur during the eclogite facies metamorphism? So it is very easy. It is omphacite. Which of the following uh, metamorphic reaction is usually usually considered as a good thermometer? <clears throat> So it is exchange reaction. In an overturned fold, axial uh, axial plane is inclined. Yes. Both limb dip in one direction. Yes. The normal limb has been rotated through more than ninety degree. No. <clears throat> so one and two are correct. Which uh, what is the inclination of our surface from the horizontal turned as? So it is slope next the plunge of fold means what is plunge it is incline it is the inclination of fold axis with the horizontal <coughs> next is an unconformity in essentially means a break in the depositional history okay so it is second one uh, in an isoclinal fold both the limbs are dip at equal angle in same direction, correct. Dip at equal angle in opposite direction, no. Are nearly horizontal, yes. So, 1 and 3 are correct. If the heave of fault is 0, then the fault is. So, it will be vertical fault. Agar heave 0 over. <coughs> heave or throw terms hoti hai na, usse related hai hai. Next is. Reverse fault are responsible for the shortening of strata. ठीक है compression में क्या होगा? Reverse fault मिलेगा हमको और जब extension होता है तो what we get? We get <coughs> normal fault. Okay, normal fault. Diagenetic joints are formed when during the formation of rock. It is first only. Next is officerous zone of Triassic belongs to, so it will belong to the lower Triassic. So these are factual questions. A red to brown ferruginous oolitic limestone known as dosa oolite belong to the topmost member of cherry formation. <clears throat> For this you have to remember the stratigraphy of uh, this uh, cherry formation. So it is uh, the stratigraphic table in which various fossil are written. Okay, I will uh, tell you later about it. Syringotherous limestone formation containing Syringotherous cuspidata belongs to the lower Carboniferous. You must have re read about these ages in the, your practical classes. Okay, 
A major marine transgression occurred in the western India after Vindian sedimentation during the Jurassic period. Dizang shales are of Paleocene to Eocene age. Nahan formation of HP or Himachal Pradesh is equivalent to the lower Shivalik group, subgroup. The intestine in an inarticulate brachiopod ends in an anus. <coughs> so, you will see diagram of the brachiopod, then I will tell you about it. This is not the brachiopod, sorry. <coughs> Next is in Terebratula, the hinge line is six, so for 61, it is short and curved. So, thank you so much for watching this channel. Do like, share, and subscribe. And video pasand aya ho to share zarur karna. And keep watching and wait for the next one. So, thank you so much.